Hi, this is Luke Zip from Crocker Farm Auction, and I'm here with this wonderful uh, Kentucky presentation picture. Uh, it bears the stamp N. Cooper and Power, Maysville, Kentucky, three times. The maker of this piece uh, incorporated the stamp on both sides of the shoulder of the picture. So we got it here and here as well as right on the front and then he encircled it in cobalt and did great swag and tassel and circle decoration all the way around this piece. It's a beautifully constructed picture. It's got a beaded rim, quadruple beaded rim, nice tooled shoulder, tooling at the uh, belly of the picture, and a nice pulled handle. Very, very pleasing half-gallon stoneware pitcher. Uh, what was very interesting is that when this was purchased by the consigner, there was a note inside of it, which has since been lost, saying that it, it was a presentation piece for Newton Cooper, who um, this advertising mark is for. Uh, now this bears mark N. Cooper and Power in Maysville, Kentucky. It's for Newton Cooper and Hugh Power. They were brothers-in-law in 1850. They were um, commenced business together as tinware merchants in Maysville, Kentucky. What I think nobody knows is that Newton Cooper was uh, related to most of the important Maysville stoneware potters. His father, Hugh Cooper, was a stoneware potter and died when Newton was young. His mother, Catherine Ricketts, was the sister of Evan G. Ricketts. Um, his uncle, Joseph Claghorn Mendel, Evan G. Ricketts, Isaac Thomas, were the three uh, most important, most well-known Maysville, Kentucky stoneware potters. Uh, so his connection with the stoneware industry, I think, led him to sell a lot of beautiful stoneware bearing advertising marks. There's stenciled pieces as well as freehand pieces. There's a beautiful block letter, N. Cooper, Maysville, Kentucky uh, stoneware crock in this auction bearing the stamp of Hamilton Greensboro. And that's where most of the Cooper Maysville advertising stoneware was made. This um, actually bears an impressed mark. It's possible, although nobody knows about it, it there really should be more research done on Maysville stoneware, that Newton Cooper briefly uh, owned a stoneware manufactory and employed uh, stoneware potters trained in the Western Pennsylvania style. This definitely the construction looks Western Pennsylvania, but it's certainly not uh, Hamilton Greensboro where most of the known uh, Cooper and Power stonewares from. It's a very, very exciting discovery. Uh, certainly the most elaborate piece of bearing a stamp and Cooper and Power. Most of the known pieces are small canning jars with little or no decoration. We are thrilled to offer it in our July 19th auction.